Ever wonder if your clever banter or the way you remembered her favorite drink was the reason that she decided that night was the night she'd sleep with you? While there is no surefire way to make any woman have sex with you, sorry to burst your ego, there, there are a few surprising qualities and actions that you can pull off that'll make you sexier. We canvass some real women to get their stories. Each relationship, or a K, one night stand, is different, and these real stories from real women prove it. Here, they reveal the thing that made the decision to get naked. Pretty simple. So if you guys want to see more of couples relationships then just keep on watching. And if you guys want to see any more of relationships topics from me in the future, then be sure to subscribe down below, turn on my post notifications so you never miss another upload. And now let's jump right into the video. He was considerate. After our date, we caught the train back to our separate apartments and he insisted on walking me to my door, even holding my hand the whole way. Then, the next morning, when we ran out of condoms, he came back with the New York Times for me, since I like to read it on Sundays. Everything about him was so kind. And remembered little things, like what I was allergic to when we tried a tasting menu, it made me comfortable to be around him and want to sleep with him even more. Clara said. He was vocal. We had been seeing each other for a few dates, nothing serious yet, and while we were making out, he looked me deeply in the eyes and then started kissing my neck. As he was doing this, he said, I love your neck. It's so sexy. I don't know if it was his confidence or the touch or just the overall chemistry, but I had to have him. Fiona said. He was worth the risk. It sounds crazy, but it really felt like an out-of-body experience for me. We had only known each other for five days, but when I was around him, I felt this magnetic pull to be closer to him. Genuinely, I was more excited around him sexually than I had ever experienced before. I knew we would sleep together sooner than later, so when I did, I knew that regardless of what happened, if we were meant to be or I'd regret it in a week, he was worth the risk. Four years later, it was a great decision. Jen said. His hands. My ex-boyfriend and I were friends for a few months before we started exploring something more than a friendship. When we first started to go on real dates, I found myself oddly attracted, and sometimes even staring. F his hands. I loved feeling his hands on the small of my back, on the side of my face when we kissed, in my hair when things got heated. After two dates, I told him I wanted his hands all over me and he happily complied. For two years. Laura said. His availability. After dating so many men who were emotionally unavailable and only in it to sleep with me, I was a little hesitant when I started to fall for someone new. I was sure he would be like all the rest, but after a handful of dates, he stayed over and didn't go straight in for sex. We actually enjoyed the foreplay, he paid attention to what got me excited and that night, we didn't end up having sex. The next day, and for weeks to come, he was available, to make plans, emotionally, everything. So after building that trust, we slept together. I didn't feel like I was giving in and worried if I'd hear from him, I knew I would. It was the best sex that either of us had ever had, there was just so much love there. We're getting married in November. Sarah said. He was confident. I usually don't have one night stands, but there was something about this guy that I met while visiting London a few years ago. I had been going through a pretty long dry spell, and when he asked what I was drinking at a pub, I rolled my eyes at him. We instantly started talking and connecting, 
and I was more than pleased to go back to his flat and have sex up until the morning. He was so confident about everything, his voice, his moves, his sexual abilities, all of it. And honestly, it was nice to just go along with the ride. Laura said. Thank you guys so much for watching, love you all and I will see you in my next video, bye.